More complaints about the city's outdoor dining program. And now a group of New Yorkers is going to court to try to get rid of it. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis joins us now live in Hell's Kitchen. She spoke to folks on both sides of the table, so to speak. Jenna. Maurice and Christine, outdoor dining has been a lifeline for many restaurants since it was implemented early in the pandemic. Those behind the lawsuit say they supported it then, but feel it has since gotten out of control. This area was crazy before outdoor dining, and outdoor dining just just uh, made it that, that much crazier. Patrick Walsh has been living on the Lower East Side 22 years. He says the past two since these outdoor dining structures emerged have been horrific. Every single morning, there would be uh, junkies, rats, garbage. Sharing a dining structure in his neighborhood was being used as a coat check. These things aren't used for dining anymore, at least half of them that I see. He's among 35 New Yorkers behind a lawsuit calling to end the city's open restaurant program. It cites excessive noise, traffic congestion, garbage, and uncontrolled rodent populations since the program's implementation in June 2020. Every other emergency ordinance has been ceased. Not this one. Why? Why? In February, City Council passed legislation for a permanent outdoor dining program, which was delayed by another lawsuit. Same attorney, Michael Sussman. It was never implemented with any environmental reviews. The environmental consequences have been disastrous in many neighborhoods in New York City, and it has to end because there's no legal basis for it. Without outdoor dining, we would not be in business today. The owner of Metro Diner on the Upper West Side says outdoor dining has been a lifeline. Losing it would be detrimental. I would say we we'll probably lose 30% of our business. Mayor Eric Adams weighs in. I think there's a way to modify, to standardize what the structure should look like, and they have to be used. It can't be used for storage. It can't be used for all other things. Uh, but I'm a supporter of, uh, of the outdoor dining. It's not about just getting rid of the system. It's about making it standardized, make it more sustainable, make it so we can have it for the long term. The organizers of the lawsuit say they have nothing against sidewalk cafes and felt the program worked well when it was regulated by the Department of Consumer Affairs. Going on to say if the city wants to make an improved program, they'd love to be part of the conversation. We're live in Hell's Kitchen, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jenna, thanks.